everyone, welcome back to my next video. Well, I've got a new toy. I like my toys, I'll have to admit it. Uh, this is a sun oven. In other words, it's a solar oven. I can do my cooking outside in uh, under the sun. And I bought my, this is called a global sun oven. They, uh, the company was founded in 1986. They've been around a long, long time. First off, let me say right off the top that this isn't for everyone. It's big and it's expensive. So if you have the, uh, the space and the money, I really, really recommend these. And if you cook, if you cook enough to, to justify having a solar oven, then, then these are fantastic. Um, so I bought my first one in 2009 at a garage sale, 50 bucks, and I broke it. I was shuttling my van around uh, to get, I was tracking the sun, and I drove over it. <laughs> so that was the end of the first one. And so uh, later on, I bought another one, and um, I was living in a, a full-sized van, a, a, an extended van, and I was towing the cargo trailer. So I had tons of room, and I could fit this. But when I moved, when I sold the cargo trailer, moved into the van, there was just no room. So I gave it, a, I gave it away to a friend, uh, Jim in Denver. And so he's done videos on them. Um, I'll have to, I'll put a link down below to, to some of his comparisons. He and I did a comparison on this channel. I'll put a link down there as well. There are a lot of good sun solar ovens. Uh, none of them are as good as this. This is by far the best. Let me say that. I don't, Jim doesn't agree. Jim, and Jim's an expert, but I think this is by far the best. And I'll show you why here in just a minute. But now that I have the ambulance, I have the room, I have the money, and so I want one. You may not have the room or you may not have the money, and then there are much less expensive ones. I tested one that folds flat, it's cardboard, and uh, it worked pretty darn well. I was really surprised how well it worked. None are as good as this. Let me show you what it is and you'll start to understand why. It's really, really blinding. Let me get this thing out of here. Uh, you can... All right. So these started out in 1986 as the Global Sun Oven. And then uh, they sold, the owner, original owner sold it to another company. And it changed names to uh, Sun Ovens International. The main thing are the reflectors. You to gather sun. Now in the, in the summer, when the sun's really high, it's not at full, it's not noon yet. It, it'll it'll shine so straight down um, that uh, the reflectors really really work well. But this one has, when it pops out like this, it has got a huge amount of uh, sun gathering power. Uh, this has got this film. Uh, let me show. I'll take you one off so you'll see what it looks like without the film. Okay, so I'm going to get all this film off here. We'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so, um, so we went ahead and peeled off the, uh, all the, uh, boy, things bright. Peeled off all of the blue stuff. I'll have to get some of the details. But you can see this is the way it will ship. It will, uh, you'll store it. It just has this latch here to hold that. And then uh, it's got a handle. 21 pounds, so it's fairly heavy. See, it's not huge, but it's still it's still bigger than, you know, if you live in a car, you're not carrying this. If you're living in an SUV, even if you're living in a van, you may not have room for this. So that's the very first thing for you to consider is that it's, it's big and it's 21 pounds, so it's fairly heavy. I mean, we, I think most of us could carry it around, no problem. It's extremely, extremely well made and super simple. So it just pops up, you uh, open up the reflectors, which are heavy gauge aluminum, polished aluminum. They last uh, literally forever. And that goes down. Now this might blind you, if it does, I apologize. Uh, but you can see the sun is uh, right there. It's aimed about straight into the sun. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. As the sun arcs across the sky, you want to you want to aim it towards the sky uh, arc. So in the morning, you want it to be tilted way down towards the horizon. And as it tracks across the sky during the day, you want it to go higher and higher and higher. So that means your food will be tilting. 
you know, if you're, if you're, so I know people who would make their breakfast, they would fry eggs in the morning because this will fry eggs in the morning um, in a pan. But you have to tilt it pretty darn low like this and how will your eggs will just run out, won't they? You crack an egg at this angle and it'll just run out of the pan. So how do you keep, the question is, and they answered it, is how do you keep your food level so it just doesn't all run out? Or if you're making a cake, you pour the batter in, it's off level, it just all runs out. How does that work? Well, they have a leveler and the leveler just hangs. And rotate so it goes here and then how do I get into this thing uh, it goes on there and it goes on there and so now the leveler just hangs so if you can get in and look into the leveler you can see as I tilt it the leveler stays level you can go right down it can go all the way flat. You can lay this thing on the ground and the leveler stays level. And as then I come back, so that, that leveler is one of the most important parts of this system. And of course you can just pop it off and take it out. But that's one of the keys. <clears throat> the first most important thing is all of this, um, all of this, uh, reflector so it's gathering in a huge amount of light these things will easily hit uh 350 I, uh, routinely i always expect it to hit 350 on a fully sunny day even in the winter i'll hit 350 in the winter as long as it's full sun i mean on the shortest day of the year the coldest day of the year it'll hit 350. Uh, and then another important thing is this piece of glass because without this the heat just going to rise out isn't it it's just it goes in it's gathered and then it goes up but this heavy piece of safety glass goes on there and keeps it on. And so it stays on there. Uh, and the heat stays inside. That's how it collects so much. It's a sealed system, and yet because it's glass, all the heat can come in. But because of the greenhouse effect, the heat comes in and doesn't go out. That's how you can get up to, I, these things will go up to 400. It's got to be a really perfect day to get to 400. And then another key is these thick walls. Can I show you how thick the walls are? Probably not very well. They're like an inch and a half thick and they're insulated. They have a heavy uh, food safe fiberglass insulation in them. So again, when the heat goes in, it's insulated so it stays in there and you just close the, um, the lid. And, and again, to put it away, it's really straightforward. You just do this. And you're done. That's that's all there is to it. You try not to be blinded. Okay, let me show you this. Now, how do you keep it level? Well, it comes with its own leg. So you you just uh, so you can see now how extremely level it is, off how pointed down it is, and this is what you're going to need in the winter, and that's why. The main advantage to this is it works in winter super well. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I can just buy a cardboard. I can just go find a cardboard box, wrap the uh, flaps in aluminum foil, and make the same thing. And yes, you can. There's no way to tilt it. There's no insulation. And so what you'll find is because you can't tilt it, it's going to work fantastically well in the summer when the sun is pointing straight down in it. But as the sun gets lower and lower and lower on the horizon, you can't tilt it and so you're not going to be gathering much light. The aluminum foil is all crinkled. It, you, no matter how good a job you do, you're going to get crinkles uh, and you're going to, when you glue it on. And, and some of that light, a lot of that light is going to be scattered away from the box instead of in it. No insulation, it's not going to hold it in there. What you're going to find is in the winter, they're pretty worthless. And uh, so that's the amazing thing about this. In dead winter, you are still cooking like you would in summer. So it, it works really super well, and yes, it's really expensive. Three, this You can order it from their website or Amazon, but on their website is $323. And um, to me, uh, having a cooking device that I can use year round, you can do all your cooking. It's summer now, and it's hot in there, and I am not cooking in my van because it is just too hot. I can now do all my cooking outside and have no heat inside. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, and you might find it hard to believe, Food tastes better. Why? Because it cannot burn. 
food literally cannot burn in there. Everything is exactly the same temperature. So if you put a pot on the stove, the heat's coming up from the outside and it'll scorch on the bottom. You have to stir it all the time. If you put it here, there is no heat from the bottom. The heat is all encompassing. The heat inside is the temperature inside is the same as the temperature outside. It cannot burn. Um, it does brown. Uh, you, if you'll do bread, you'll get, uh, you'll get browned bread just like you would in a regular oven. Uh, so it's just fantastic. I love this thing. It was worth it to me. I have the space now. Uh, and so I will be, use it and I'll give you a report here shortly. So this will be my, uh, my first uh, attempt on this new solar oven to cook with it. It's uh, right here. It's all set up. And I'm going to make some chick for, uh, cook some chicken breasts. So let me turn you around. And I have already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's an even uh, 300. I'll get. Oh, I'll put my shade in that way. You can catch that and focus, can't you? 300 degrees. It's all ready to go. I've got the chicken in a pot here. It's not this too hot. So here you can see the chicken is uh, on there. I've used some uh, onion powder and some seasoning salt. Put the lid on it, and I'm going to put a oven th meat thermometer in there. Let's see. Okay, so um, I'm checking it uh, right now. It's up to 325 degrees, 325. Which I should have known that would be true. That it would be uh, that it would be warmer at three o'clock than at noon because the day gets progressively warmer as it goes along. So um, it probably could be done. It's 310, so it's been uh, 12, 1, 2, 3. Almost, almost three hours. So I, my guess is it's done. That's a 200, so it's more than done. Of course, that's sitting down in a liquid. So that might, not, that might be giving it a false reading. And it's too <laughs> tender to Tell you what, it just falls apart. So that's pretty much all I need to know. We're, okay, we're calling this thing done. So I will pull it out of there. It looks good and browned. It was very tender, it cut just to pieces. And uh, uh, we'll put it over here on a trivet and, uh, and sit her down there and let her cool off. I would uh, turn it off real quick, but there's no turning it off because it's solar, no electricity, no fossil fuels. But it just cuts to pieces. You know, I'm cutting it with a spoon, so that means it's pretty well done inside. I'm going to call it done. Mmm, that's good. 100% success. The solar oven is amazing. I've been using my... Um, to have cooked this over the stovetop would have taken at least 45 minutes on pretty high flame. And that would burn a whole bunch of fuel. And it wouldn't have tasted that good. That tastes so good. I'm really, really, really amazed. And yet, I've owned these for a long time now. And uh, food tastes better because the, the heat inside it is all even. And with the lid on that, it retains its moisture. Let me let me turn you around here again. You can see uh, that it has retained all of the moisture. It's still in here. And all that would be, normally, if I lived in a house, I would save that as a, a stock. So my first experiment with this particular oven worked great. That, that was fantastic. And you can see it packs up pretty small. It's, it's, not, it's plenty light enough that I can just walk around and carry it. Uh, in, fitting it inside the rig can be a problem, but um, it's not really a big issue now that I have the ambulance. I have plenty of room. That's really the reason why I was able to get one again. You have to have the room for it. You have to have the money to spend on it, the spare money. Never dip into your emergency savings for anything like this. This is a pure luxury. Money in the bank is number one. 
Never buy something like this if you have to take it out of your emergency fund. That's the key thing I want you always to remember. Uh, but if you can't afford it, then this will be, and you enjoy cooking, you have the space, this will be a huge addition to your life. So have you ever used a solar oven? Do you think you would? Uh, would this even be worth it? Would you be willing to uh, make a cardboard box solar oven? You can make one for virtually no money, some aluminum foil. Um, and so you, there's lots of instructions on YouTube or on Google on how to do that. So would, would you consider carrying a solar oven if you can get one cheap or make one for yourself? Write, down in, write it down in the comments below. I'd really like to hear from you. Okay, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you.